In order to find the image in a plain mirror, here are the equipment I'm going to use. A piece of blank paper, a square of cardboard, some push pins, and a plain mirror. That's just a flat mirror. Here I am drawing a straight line to the center of my page, and I'm going to use this to line up my plain mirror. I'm going to use push pins to help it stand upright. Okay, so I'm going to first put my object right here. So we're going to be looking at the green push pin. Now, this here is the actual pin. And you can also see here the image. So what I want to do is I want to look directly in the mirror at the image. And I'm going to take a push pin and I'm going to put it, in this case I'm going to use the red ones. I'm going to look into my mirror and I'm going to put this red push pin in front of the image. Now my red push pin is in front of my image. Now I want to put now another one. So it's going to be in front of the red push pin, which is in front of the image of the green push pin. Should be about here. And if you've taken care, all three things should be in a row. The red pin, the second red pin, and the green image. And that's because light travels in a straight line. So we have the two red pins in line and they're covering up the green image. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to change and look at it from a slightly different angle. If you see here, I can now see that green image again. I'm going to put this in the way of my green image. And now I'm going to put this in the way of that blue pin. So here's what it looks like from up top. Okay, you can see that right now those two red lines are angled towards the green image. If I move from a different angle, now those two blue pins are angled towards the green image. I could have done the same thing over on this side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label all of these. This was O for my object. I'm going to call this one pin one, pin two, pin three, and pin four. Now I can take all of these out and I circle them as I do, makes things easier later. And I'm also going to take out my mirror. Usually we put markings like this to show that this side is where the glass was, or the silvering of the glass. Now if I want to find the image, we know light travels in a straight line. So if I connect these two pins, we know that the image must have been behind here somewhere. And I'm going to do a dotted line because the actual image didn't have any light at it. Same with P1 and P2. I'm going to connect them together and use a dotted line afterwards. Now since they were both looking at the image, where these two lines cross must have been where they were looking at the image. If we look at the, where the object and the image are, if we've done it right, what I should find is a line connecting these two should be perpendicular to my mirror. And it actually should be that these are the same distance behind as it is in front. Now you can see it's pretty close to 90 degrees on my quick little work here. And the distances, well, this does look a little bit farther than here. But if I had taken a little bit more time and care, especially if you can see how I drew uh, missed my dots here. 
then we would have been able to get that result. Now I have one last thing I want to show you is, well, remember, this is our eye down here. We draw it like this a lot. Think of it, this is the cornea, top and bottom eyelashes. If I'm going to see this, that means the light has to be traveling in this direction. So where did it come from? Well, it came from the object. So for this ray here, must have come from here to the mirror and bounced off. Likewise for here. Now, if I had my protractor, I would actually find here that my angle of incidence is my angle of reflection. So what's happening? The object is giving off light in all directions. It just so happens I've drawn two very particular rays that have gone towards the mirror and bounced off. So this is the reflected ray. In order to find the image, I've taken the reflected ray and backed it up because our eyes are pre-programmed to think light travels in a straight line, I, in my brain, said the image must have been here. On the second reflected ray, again, I've gone to the mirror, and this is virtual. The light actually isn't here. The light came from here and bounced off, but because my brain says light travels in a straight line, it's trying to tell me that the image is actually here.